Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today, I'd like to show you the, um, the advancement on the uh, element widget. So on the left here, we have the FreeCAD, uh, the current version, uh, 0 0.20. And this is on the right, my development branch, where I'm making those new, new features. So um, just a few days ago, I, re I first released a video on the uh, constraint widget. So you can see, um, I will just show you because I already changed a few things to improve further. So yeah, basically the um, the filter, uh, you can enable it and disable it. And it, uh, it disappears when the mouse move away. Okay, so that's pretty basic, um, pretty basic behavior. And uh, also the setting buttons is now here. On this line so it can be even smaller uh, if we want to so it won't be a, the bottleneck anymore so if you're interested about to know more about this um, this video please check the um, the um, the other video in that you can find on my youtube account so now let's have a look at the element widget so um, the first to show you how it worked before. So before you had like this uh, checkbox, which was um, ticked by default, and you also have extended naming. So basically extend na extended naming just like changes the names to some more advanced. So this one is now here uh, in the settings box, because now it's the same between the two widgets, constraint widget and uh, element widgets. So uh, yeah, so it's in this uh, small box here. Uh, so now that this is um, said, uh, here you see what you had is like an auto switch to edge, which basically switch to edge when you select, which actually force this uh, combo box to edge. And uh, if you selected a point, I think it changed automatically to starting point. Let me see, click. Yeah, you see it changes to starting point because a point doesn't have an edge, it's directly a, a starting point. So, and if you disable this auto switch feature, you see you have like those crosses. You cannot actually select points while you are in uh, edge mode because points are like starting point. And so if you select starting point here, then you can see the icon changes. And instead of having the edge, you can select the starting point of the edge. Uh, same for end point and for center point. So for instance, the center point, you see circle. If I select here, it select the, the, the middle of this, this circle. So that's how it worked. And you could also filter by uh, construction mode or external um, geometry and um, with this uh, combo box. Okay, so here the idea was that instead of having only like you, you can just select one item and you have to select the kind of the type of um, things that you want to select you have uh, all the um, elements that which are selectable from the same line so if you select just the line here for instance it will just select the edge but if you want to select the start point of the end or or the end point you can directly click on them and then you can also like select multiple objects and you can select multiple uh, items pretty much every uh, functionality which was um, available before and you see if you select a point it will automatically select the only available option which is the starting point all right and so yeah you can select whatever you want and what is interesting is that you can select like this uh, start point and this end point, for instance, and then you can apply. Uh, wait, my right, my mouse has uh, is a little uh, tired, and you can select the constraint and create it directly like that between any start and end point and so on. So um, I think that's like it gets rid of this uh, combo box and you you have everything on site directly 
and besides it reduces the size of the widget so it's a bit simpler in my opinion um, and then I added a filter checkbox which acts as the same as this one for consistency um, so it's acting the same and you see you can select if you want only construction uh, only uh, only normal geometries uh, nothing at all which doesn't help much and then you can see also now you can filter by types so if you want like only points I, I, I have no points if you want only lines you have you can select here only the lines and you can disable the filter re-enable the filter and so on and so you can want the line and the circles and so on and so on so yeah that's pretty much it and um, so the the general idea was to simplify the the widget and enhance its capacity so don't hesitate to leave a comment on the forum if you have a few minutes because it's always appreciated to have some feedback and if you have any idea of improvement i can also try to implement that and uh, over well other than that if you uh, if you like uh, what i'm doing here consider helping me like spending more time on freecad by uh, backing me on patreon and i leave the link in the description so well thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day bye, -bye.